The Lion, Low Impact Ordnance, Non-Lethal, is a BFD or blank firing device. This device is not a flashbang. The Lion was designed for simulation sports, airsoft, paintball, or training for law enforcement, military, recreational use such as the 4th of July, or simply just to piss off your in-laws at Thanksgiving. The Lion is an impact actuated device. It uses a patent pending inertial activated firing pin. It will detonate 360 degrees regardless of the impact point. The impact detonation gives the operator about one and a half to two seconds before detonation after being thrown. The Lion V1 requires no paperwork, except an online waiver liability that you will complete at purchase. For colors, they come in raw, black, gold hard type three anodized, and several custom Cerakote colors. A V2 base for LEO or military is also available and we'll cover that later in the video. The device is 100% USA manufactured and it is CNC'd from 6061 T6 aluminum and 303 stainless steel. The top part that moves up and down is called the plunger. The plunger is not required for operation, but it does assist in detonation on softer surfaces such as sand or carpet. The plunger is sealed to the main body and any attempt to open or modify this device will immediately void the limited lifetime warranty. The firing pin can be seen from the bottom when depressing the plunger. The Lion V1 is compatible with three types of cartridges. When removing the V1 base, you will see a removable center collet. This collet has a small O-ring on it. The O-ring can be removed. The O-ring is designed to prevent loss of the collet when reloading in the field. The collet accepts use of generic cartridges, including any 209 shot shell primer, also including Magnum or muzzle loader 209 primers. Another cartridge available is the Umarex 9mm PA or Oscursan 9mm pack blanks. The V1 base, which is civilian purchasable, also has an O-ring, which when engaged creates a positive seal. Simply remove the collet and you can use B12 mini cartridges. B12 cartridges are specially designed with a disintegrating foam to help prevent fire hazards. The decibel outputs are approximately 100 decibels for primers, 115 decibels for 9mm, and 130 decibels for B12 cartridges. Basically, any 209 brand of primer from your local gun shop will work. The 9mm blanks are special. They use a polymer flat base and are smaller in diameter than a live 9mm round. This is to prevent a live round from being loaded in the device. It is not compatible with any crimped metal 9mm blanks, which can cause shrapnel. It is important to note that only approved cartridges can be used with this device. Using a cartridge that is not approved by Paymax Tactical will immediately void the warranty. It is important to note that the Lion Device safety pin doubles as a tool and can be used to push out a used 209 primer or 9mm round from the collet. Also, when the 9mm PA or pack blanks are used, there will be a slight gap between the V1 base and the main body. This is a built-in safety and is completely normal. So let's talk about using the device. Remove your device from the packaging. Make sure that your plunger moves freely. If the plunger is stuck, simply smack the plunger on a hard surface until it moves freely. This may happen only once the first time you get the unit from the factory. Insert the safety pin into the unit, remove the V1 base, and set the collet to the appropriate cartridge. Your device is now ready to use. Simply pull the pin and throw. If a primer of 9mm blank gets stuck, use the safety pin to remove it. Occasionally, a 9mm or B12 mini may get stuck to the point where a pick or punch may have to be used to remove it. The device is designed to detonate on essentially any surface, excluding things like mattresses or pillows. This was designed with breaching applications in mind. So for LEO or military, it greatly reduces liability and fire hazards. The device should be thrown with an underhand toss at least two feet off the ground for best results. It will detonate with as little as six inches of drop. This device is impact actuated, so you want the device to fall with an arc versus a slide across the floor. When using in softer surfaces outdoors, like mud, high or wet grass, or sand, you should overhand throw the unit like a tomahawk. Be mindful not to throw it at any person or animal to prevent injury. Now with safety in mind, always use eyes and ears when operating a Lion device. The Lion amplifies output to the cartridge and it can damage your eyes and ears if safety precautions are not taken. Always make the device safe before loading it. So what happens if I pull the pin and I have a no bang situation? Method one would be to put the pin back into the device to safety it. Method two is to rotate the base past 180 degrees to disengage the base from the firing pin. This this will quickly make it safe and stow back on your person and proceed with the operation. Simply twist back into battery to make the device live again. If your device seems to get slightly dirty, use a damp rag to clean away any debris. 
You may use a cleaning pick for tight areas, such as the firing pin, to clean carbon buildup. Use a 243 wire bore brush to clean the safety pin area if it begins to get stiff. If the plunger is sticking and not moving freely, you may use WD-40 to lubricate the plunger area. Limited lifetime warranty coverage is included with the Lion device. For replacement parts or maintenance from wear and tear, the customer will only pay for the part and shipping. Not to worry, these units can do over 600 throws without issue. A polymer lanyard is included with your purchase. This lanyard is designed to attach to your safety pin and then to your tactical vest to allow one-handed use of the device, as well as to prevent loss of your safety pin. You may also choose to upgrade to a braided cable. Also available is a Kydex holster that you can attach to your belt or your chest rig. The V2 base is another feature offered. It is compatible with the Lion device and you simply just swap the V1 for the V2. The V2 is a serialized base for LEO and military operations only. It is only compatible with a 2-inch B12 LEO military cartridge by Paymax Tactical. It puts out a flash that will take away night vision and it boasts a 180 decibel sound. It functions exactly the same as the V1 discussed earlier. The V2 can only be purchased by an FFL or LEO or military with credentials. A training class is required before purchase. This class incorporates tactical applications and touches on vehicle breaching as well. A liability waiver is then signed and the serialized base is assigned to that LEO or military student. The serialized base is tracked internally with Paymax Tactical. Once the course is complete and the certificate is provided, you're ready to rock and roll with your V2. The Train the Trainer courses are currently hosted by Full Spectrum Warriors, Navy SEAL, Rich Graham, and Battleline Tactical Army Ranger, Chris Tanto Peranto. The V2 base gives law enforcement and military an inexpensive, safe, reliable, and reusable option to modern devices like flashbangs. There are no special storage requirements requirements, and departments can go from a V1 trainer unit for pennies on the dollar and swap in seconds to the V2 base to use on a real-world breaching application. Thanks for watching. We hope this was some valuable information for you guys, and get out there and have some fun with these devices. To learn more about the Lion device and all the accessories, check out the website.